Hi guys, good day. So this is Paolo from Right Padding, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a search result page, uh, completely using Elementor and Get Smart Filter. So it's a uh, an archive search archive with filters like this, and it automatically you know filters out for you. So uh, first things first, so we'll go to the backend. Okay. So what you need to do is add a loop grid. So this one, this loop grid right here, and then choose template as post, or this is actually a custom post type. So in this case, uh, using post, uh, you can also do this with WooCommerce. So just use products. Uh, it will be right here. So template. Uh, look, usually what I do is that I actually create uh, names loop uh, using Elementor loop. This is custom, so that's for another video if you want to. Uh, let me show you how I created uh, this loop right here. There's that right here. I'm going to be choosing test library. Yeah. For columns, let's just say it's three. Item per page, let's just say it's six. And then for Jet Smart Filter, this is very, very important. So you need to toggle this is filterable toggle here and hit publish. So I'm going to delete this because that's what's uh, here on my end. Though I use Massively, just to make sure that uh, everything will flow uh, very smoothly if the items are not unequal. So, unfortunately, there's really some instances that you won't be able to see in the front end. So, what you need to do is just publish it and then view it on the front end, like this one. So, now uh, we're done with the loop grid. Uh, in this part, Let's go on the filtering side. So the filters actually differs on how you set it up. So on my in my case, the filters will be uh, taxonomies. Uh, it's not categories. So just let me know if you want me to create uh, another tutorial for categories. But for now, it's custom taxonomies. I created using ACF, by the way. So uh, for Jet Engine, there's a complete tutorial at the end, but for ACF, there's actually none. So uh, yeah. Here, um, let's go to Jet Smart Filters first. And then you'll see all the filters that we're going to create. I This is the one I currently created, but we're going to create another one. But first, let's go to settings. And this is very, very important. So for just smart filters, you need to toggle this. Like for example, if you want to uh, filter out loop grid, you need to toggle this for post, for archive, portfolio, and products. So right now, um, these are the only ones I'm using. So uh, that's why it's toggled. And the next part would be the indexer. Uh, this is very, very important as well. It's not really um, indicated on their documentation. So here, you need to toggle this one. And then I usually use auto re-indexing, uh, but there's a manual way to do this, but I enable this so that when there's a new, there's changes on the filter, it automatically re-index everything, or there's changes on or add I did, you know, post or plus post type. Uh, it's best to just toggle this one up. So here on my end, I'm actually using test as the one I'm indexing. This is a custom post type using ECF. And then other than that, um, these are optional right here. So yeah. So let's start with adding uh, a new filter. 
So what I'm going to add would be locations. So add new location. So for best location, I'm going to use checkbox for this. So filter type checkbox. Okay. It's very, very easy uh, to send someone up. You just need to click the taxonomy and then test location. And that's it. Um, if you want to show empty terms, just toggle this. And if there are child, um, you know, like taxonomies, you can prove your parents or show only children. But for now, uh, it's very easy on my end. So let me just quickly show to you for locations. Right here, it's just three major ones, like parent categories. So what I need to do is update. So on the back end, uh, let's jump right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be refreshing this. Just refresh it. So what I'm going to do is pick it this over just for you know designing Now I remember that we are using checkbox for this. So here I've been adding a new widget. Just search checkbox and here. We'll actually see a checkbox filter and range, so it's actually better. So here we just search the name that we set here. So best location, location. Here it's best location, and then this is very very important. You need to target the one that you're gonna be filtering. So since we are using loop grid, it's loop grid. And then this is kind of important as well. I always enable uh indicator for this. And then if you wanna choose the if you wanna show the counter, you can do so. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll copy this and paste this style. So as you can see, uh, it's now here. So if we click commercial, actually we'll filter out everything under commercial, and then click insect. Uh, it you know filters out for us. So that's it for the chat box. Now we're gonna be uh, adding a radio filter. So let's go ahead and go to smart filters then add you. All right, now we're going to add treatment difficulties. So again, click uh, radio, data source, autonomies, and then treatment difficulties. Uh, you can toggle this one, add all option, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to automatically update this. See. Okay, so let me quickly refresh this again on the back end. So just refresh it. Take it again. So remember that we use checkbox, but since we are we use radio filter, uh, just search radio filter, and then grab or click, and then same as before, just search the name. So it's treatment there. Again, very very important. You need to select loop read since we are using for targeting loop read there, and then lastly. Index. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that here. Let's go 
तो वह है तो 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 हियर इट्स नाउ नाउ द द मेन डिफरेंस विद चेकबॉक्स वर्सेस रेडियो इज दैट टू बिगिन एबल टू सेलेक्ट one option for radio and then for checkbox it's multiple so there's that so for this one this is filter gallery um sorry uh it's active filters sorry so just a bonus you can there's actually if you search filter here there actually you can search remove filters active filters um there's a lot of filters right here but you need to make sure that um it's supported currently um let me quickly show this to you guys so right now the there's some filters that are not um integrated using ecf they think that was before checkbox was not but now it's it's supported so yeah just can he uh check this uh url right here or link yeah. there's that i think that's it i hope you guys learned something from this uh, yeah uh, lastly setting it up on the page template uh there's actually a template here just need to go to uh i mean you assign it as the search result category uh search result on the page template so that's it uh if you do have any more questions just uh feel free to hit the comment section below and have a great day bye now